Hello guys, I'm Sarah from 190. Hi guys, I'm Sarah from 190. Show you my golf course and how it's built and how it works. I'd also like to show you an awesome automatic machine that clothes you. So you need to get yourself some bowls. And I did. Alright, so I'm in my golf course and I'm looking for the color I desire. I want blue. I want blue. And so it was done. I am now on the blue team, ready to play golf for the first time, like a virgin on prom night. <laughs> Did I just say that? Alright guys, if you want to know how that's built, it's a very basic technique. Okay, we're gonna want to need, we're gonna want to need, we're gonna want to need redstone dust and a redstone torch. We need four dispensers and a pressure plate and a block of choice. These are the things we're gonna, we're gonna want to need. Okay, so let's get started. What you first thing you want to do is actually put down a pressure plate here. Come behind there and break away a block and put a torch right here. And put a block on top of the torch. Then you want to repeat that process again. So put a torch there and a block on top. On top. And it will look like this. So you put your dispenser here for your face and one here for your feet space and one here for your chest plate and one on the top for your fats you have but there's supposed to be four guys okay there we go okay break that one away and we want to connect two pieces of redstone by crouch placing here that's it that's this will dress you up guys and make you dressed it's very handy, it's very quick, especially if you're going into battle, into the nether. All you have to do is jump on this, and you're ready to go into battle in the nether. Um, we're ready to play a game of golf. Welcome to Seraphim's Golf Course, and we're going to pick the hard one. This is 16 par, I'm pretty sure. So we've got to throw the ball less than 16 times before I get it in the hole. This is the name of the game. So watch again. Watch. Are you watching? When I throw the ball, it slides. That's the second time. So let's finish this hole real quick. That's what he said. Okay, that's three. That's four. Let's not get it into the water. Five. Oh, it almost went into the water. Six. Yay, I got six, guys. I'm excruciating fun. Seven. Wow, guys, look at me. I'm sliding like tomorrow. Um, eight. Oh, he didn't do very well then, did he, guys? S nine. A little bit closer to the hole. Ten. Yippee dee, go Seraphim! Eleven. And twelve. Oh. Thirteen, guys, I got it. In thirteen, I did it. If you'd like to know how this golf course is built, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Hey guys, here is the basic idea, basically. So what you do is you delete the dirt blocks and you replace it with ice blocks. And you put carpet over the top. Now normally in real life, if you were to put carpet on top of ice, it would stop the traction. It would create more traction, actually. But in this world, for some reason, carpet has no effect on ice, and therefore, it is still slippery. So all you need to do is cover it with some half slabs and put some sand every here and there. Even water. And when you throw your block, any block of choice, it will slide like a bitch. Down. Okay? Like a bitch on prom night, it will slide. Okay guys, I am back at this design. And basically what we're going to want to do is cover it up. There we go. I like my privacy, guys. I really need privacy when these things are built. Um, for example... I can't go to the toilet if I have neighbours. When they go on holidays, guess what? It's toilet time for me. So I need privacy in many ways. And thus, this is very private. I've even put a clock there to hide it. That's how private I am. And look, guys, I'm ready to explore myself. And if you don't know me by now, then you probably will never, ever really know me.